King Kalakaua was a Renaissance man, reviving the past while wholeheartedly embracing technology in the future. And he was very cosmopolitan, the first monarch to travel the world. It was during those travels he met with men with whom he shared a common bond, their fellowship in a global organization shrouded in mystery. It's part of Kalakaua's secrets. Tattered and worn, but the symbols of the Masons still very clear. If this Masonic apron could talk and share the stories of the man who wore it, King David Kalakaua. Kalakaua was uh, not just active, he was passionate. So he was a 33rd degree uh, Mason in the Scottish Rite. He participated in York Rite. He was a past master of his uh, mother lodge, Lodge of the Progre de l'Océanie. One of the first um, events that was held in the palace was a Masonic dinner and the cornerstone of the palace was laid with a Masonic trowel. In fact, many of the Mason meetings were held in the attic of the palace. A new exhibit at the palace shines a light on the Ali'i's involvement in the Masons. You see Kalakaua's Knights Templar sword, ornate with the insignia affiliated with the Masons. The plum, level and square, ritualistic and symbolic. Ceremonial trowels that may have been used to lay Iolani's cornerstone as well as the king's jewelry. The exhibit also sheds light on how Kalakaua used his membership in this secret society to benefit the Hawaiian kingdom. His network helped him develop political relations in Europe as well as in the United States. It was a, a new door that, uh, that was open to him. And then he also revived the Halinawa Society, which was an ancient Hawaiian chiefly society, and he reorganized Halinawa on the hierarchies and rituals of the Masons. For the Freemasons who loaned some of these items to the palace, it's a chance to share their rich history and to celebrate the king who embraced his brotherhood. It's something that we emulate and it's, it's something that we hope to live up to. He set a, a remarkable example and he um, deserves to be acknowledged for that. Now, while their Makiki Temple is being renovated, the Masonic Lodge that Kalakaua once belonged to is once again meeting on palace grounds, though not in the attic this time. 